Welcome. So today I'll be showing you how to attach an audio file, how to record yourself and attach that file on Google Classroom. Maybe you may be required to record yourself while singing or even while reading a book and you are then required to upload that audio file in your Google Classroom. So today, I'll be showing you how to do it. So let's get started. And we'll start by learning how to record ourselves on our computer using the normal recorder. So you just need to go on your computer and search recorder or voice recorder. It's going there. It's uh, going to come over there and see mine on your computer there. So you create a new uh, file. So you can see it has already started recording over there. So as it records, you can now go and do what you want to do. If you want to sing, if you want to introduce yourself, if you want to say, or uh, uh, read a book, if you, if you want to, you know, have a conversation with anyone, you can see the computer is now recording. So if you have to read, a book or read some work that is on Google Classroom. You, after you've started recording, you minimize that. It's down here on your computer. And then you can go open your Google Classroom account. If the work has been posted to Google Classroom, you go and open your Google Classroom. Let me just open one. Just open one over here in my Google Classroom. So it can either be on Google Classroom or the work will be if you, the work has been sent on your Gmail, then you can just go there. You will see an email that tells you that some work has been posted. So as you can see, someone has already posted some work for me over there. And what is the work? This is the assignment. Record an audio telling me about yourself. So now you open that. Oh, you see, that is the work. So now we need to answer those questions, but now the work must open uh, as a student. So it opens like that for you, from your end as a student. Now you will see the work like this. This is my Google Classroom. You click on the Google the Classroom, and then you can see the work has been posted there as that. Record an audio telling me about yourself. So you go to the recorder, do the recording and then after you finished of course you stop you pause and when you click there it saves your work and it is all so as you can record you can now go and do what you want to do if you want to sing if you want to introduce yourself if you want to say oh so that is the work. So we need to come here and rename that work. You click there, and then you rename that recording as Who Am I? And you can even say by write your name. By Steve, or you can write your name. And then you, you rename that work. So where has this recording been saved? It is there in your computer. But how can you get there? How can you know where the work has been saved? You can go there by clicking on the, on the work. And then you say, open file location. That is going to tell you where the work has been saved. So the work is there. You can see it is in the section of sound recording. So we need to remove that work from there, or we need to upload that work from there every time we need to attach it. I always encourage my our learners to save the work in the desktop. It always becomes easy for you to attach the work. So can we take this work from here to the desktop? Yes, we cut, we cut, and then we paste in the desktop. We paste the work in the desktop. So now the video is in the desktop now, our recording, which we can always send it to 
to our Google Classroom, you can attach it as a file. So now that is how to record the work. I no longer need the, the recording, so now I can close it because I've already finished. So I go back, I go back to our Google Classroom now. This is the work. This is where you're supposed to send the work. How do you send that work to your teacher, to your tutor, to your professor? This is how you do it. Well, there's a section written, mark, add, or create. So you click there, and then you attach a file. You click on attach file, and then you upload the file from your computer. So you browse, and the file is there on your computer. Who am I? You open. So that work will be uploaded. You can see the file is there. It is being uploaded and then once you're done you click on turn in you see one attachment will be submitted for who am i and that work is there and switch you just click on turn in that means now you have attached your file you've sent the work to your teacher you've sent your file to your or tutor you've sent it to and they're able to see the work and that is how to attach a file an audio file on Google Classroom. Thank you for watching this video and hope that the video was of use to you.